Hello guys, just wanted to take a moment to say hello to you and to encourage you, to remind you that fear is not real, it's a thought in your mind. Your minds are so powerful and wonderful. Know this, that there's a power greater than you that created you. God, source, divine mind, infinite intelligence is everywhere and is in control even right now, even while the system is working tenaciously to get control of your mind. You know, they're always swaying the people into the direction they want them to go. And this moment in time is the corona and everything else that's going on, the virus that they're talking about. So I just wanted to remind you that if you change your mind, your ass will follow. That's my mantra. Because whatever goes on in the mind will be made manifest at some point on the screen of life. So if you're walking in fear, then those things will come upon you. Um, Job even mentioned that in the good old book, the Bible. It said that the thing that I feared the most has come upon me. So now are we trusting in a power greater than ourselves, God, that can restore us and keep us at all times and know that it is well or are we beginning to trust the reports and the noise that we hear from all over you know you're they're in your inbox they're sending you these messages here there the tv the radio or someone's calling to tell you you know can you imagine if this happened be very mindful what you give ear to i like to think about the three little monkeys hear no evil speak none and see none just begin to think of the things of God. The Bible also mentions to think on these things which are true, which are honest, which are just, which are lovely, which are of a good report. And if you think on these things, you'll be well. So be mindful, again, where your mind is being placed, what you're focused on. Because wherever your attention goes, power flows. And so be encouraged about that. And I've heard some speakers that have been sharing some good information. It is very important and has always been to take care of yourself, meaning to eat right, drink plenty of water, eat healthy, put the fried foods down. Also, look at the things, go online if you need to, to find out what's the benefit of having some golden seal, some ginger in your life, the ginger root and eating fruits like berries and things in this season that have what um, seeds in them. Make sure you find real things go to those markets that can give you these things um this corona thing has been around for many years there's many strands of it i'm not the doctor to give you that however i do know that god can keep you um through all things so i'm going to give you some links to some things you can check out also here and some speakers that break it all down about the coronavirus or the many strands and how it works and attaches itself but remember Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. So when you're attached to God and you begin to use the wisdom and the mindset of God, uh, source will always keep you. So remember, this is a day that the Lord has made. Choose what you want. I choose good health, happiness, love, success, prosperity, and lots of money, but most of all, peace of mind. And knowing that divine mind rules and reigns in my life, he keeps me at all times. In this, everything that I touch and do shall prosper. And if by chance my mind should wonder, I will bring it back gently by thinking on the things of God. For today is a beautiful day because I'm alive and well and I'm able to even share this moment with you. And I pray that you too will remember that he that created you and created all things is able to keep you in this hour and the next and the next. I'll be back with more soon. Be encouraged. Keep your head up. Love you much. Peace.